What can digital biology do for you? Well, probably the most important uh, immediate benefit that you can derive from it is the mRNA uh, vaccine for or rather against uh, COVID-19. Uh, this has been achieved, uh, tested, and then uh, produced thanks to our increased knowledge about what is biology and how it works. But there are many other benefits as well, from understanding your ancestry, uh, your treats, uh, the predisposition to uh, certain types of uh, uh, illnesses and health conditions to the promise of personalized medicine. Digital biology also is the basis for so many future developments in agriculture, uh, in uh, urban development, uh, in uh, uh, managing uh, and hopefully understanding uh, climate change and how we can uh, address it uh, and so on. Well, why is biology digital? Is it possible to, for, for biology not to be digital? I think is the question. Um, since uh, we understood uh, the nature of molecules uh, and atoms, physics has trended in uh, breaking up natural systems in um, units that were quite well defined uh, in, in their nature. And even though as of right now, we do not have a fundamental theory uh, of physics and space-time, there are those that believe that even at the very bottom of our reality, we will find digital units. So as atoms and molecules combine and uh, evolution in universal terms, not only evolution applied to living systems like wolves hunting rabbits or, or things like that, but actually uh, the abstract definition of uh, reproduction with variation in an environment under constraints produces evolution. The components of that pre-biological evolution were digital already, exactly because they were the chemical components of, of molecules. And then what basically happened is that the medium and the message became the same thing. The shape and the function of certain molecules became the language for programming those functions through the shapes. And these are the proteins that uh, have certain shapes and via their shapes express certain functions as veritable molecular machines. And of course, the programming language that the digital biological operating system uses is DNA, where we are starting to be able to understand how from DNA through RNA and ribosomes, uh, the recipe for creating certain proteins, i.e. molecular machines, influences what we are, our metabolism, and basically everything that we can uh, achieve, both through our bodies and ultimately including uh, through our brains. For those of us who believe that there is no magical secret source uh, contained inside our brains or deposited in our brains as they become our thinking minds. So understanding 
digital biology, understanding the digital nature of biology uh, is a huge achievement that uh, we are still in the process of completely unlocking. Uh, and the consequences, uh, as I mentioned, will be manifold. Our understanding of life uh, and the interesting and intriguing um, frontiers uh, between living and non-living systems, such as, for example, viruses that are unable to reproduce by themselves, they, have a they do not have a metabolism of their own, and they piggyback uh, living systems in order to reproduce, which, however, is one of the fundamental features together with those others, of what it means to be alive, are an example of this frontier. We have been happy to pinpoint viruses, especially uh, uh, the virus behind uh, COVID-19, as uh, the supreme evil of uh, uh, the biological world. But that is not actually the case. Uh, without viruses, uh, there are a very large number of things that uh, our bodies just couldn't do. Uh, there have been a continuous um, symbiotic process as we were infected by viruses and we found a way to coexist with them or even more, we found a way to benefit from the functions that those viruses, once inside our cells, provided, uh, augmenting our capacities uh, as encoded in the DNA. So, viruses are not uh, only uh, an enemy. Viruses are a tool. They are a building block of our um, tool set in understanding the power of digital biology. And we are today able to design viruses, hopefully, for beneficial applications. And we will go further. Um, we are not able yet, but the types of genomes DNA sequences that we can design get longer every day. And from viruses, we will go on to bacteria. Uh, from bacteria, we will go on to multicellular organisms until the point where rather than reading the DNA sequence of a human, we will be able to write the DNA sequence of a human. This will be an entirely natural organism once we boot it up, but at the same time, it will be a 100% artificial organism as well. And the astonishing power of being able to decide what exactly to write in what positions of the DNA, how to decide with the power of our insight and forecast and ambitions, uh, the traits and the characteristics is going to be an immense challenge from obviously an ethical point of view, but also from a societal point of view. It is unavoidable. And uh, yes, the natural world is to be respected. But the natural world is also unthinking. The natural world is happy, or actually is neutral, uh, towards suffering, whether of uh, uh, extinguishing entire species or the suffering of individuals who, for example, are born with genetic defects. And if we are able to diminish or eliminate this suffering, shouldn't we act on that knowledge? Our respect towards nature is not diminished 
by our ambition in overcoming its limitations. Digital biology is a tool and a technology. And of course, we have to understand its power and make sure that we are maximizing uh, positive outcomes in applying it. As usual, regulators are as blind as all of us in what they are called in regulating. So, as usual, they should treat very carefully in implementing regulations that will unavoidably become obsolete very rapidly. They should build in sunset clauses in those regulations in order to be able to incorporate what in the meantime has been learned. That is how healthy research and healthy applications can flourish all over the world in independent but communicating research laboratories that need oversight, need financial support, need the ability uh, to understand the implications of what they are doing and work together for the benefit of humanity.